Hi, it's Leia here from the Center of Key. And today I just want to share some thoughts with you about how to deal with things like food cravings that you might get when you're out and about, um, perhaps you're shopping or traveling and you're maybe in a supermarket or a store and you see something on the shelf and you, th you may be hungry, you may not be that hungry, but you want something to snack on or something to eat to keep you going. Now, there's obviously lots of different choices that we can make in these situations, but I'd like to encourage you to think about you know, how you make your choices when it comes to these situations so that you can make the best or the healthiest choice for yourself. Now, one thing that I like to do when I have these moments of perhaps wanting to eat something a bit naughty like a chocolate bar or an ice cream is I like to pause and actually read the label. Yes, reading the label is a really important part of understanding what it is you're actually eating. Um, so reading the label, seeing what ingredients are in this product. So if it's some sort of pre-wrapped product, obviously it's going to have a list of ingredients. So have a look. It might be hard to see. You might, you know, if you need glasses, you might need to put glasses on because it can be written in quite small writing. Um, but all pre-packaged foods do have ingredients. So what are the main ingredients in this product? Is it flour? Is it sugar? Is it butter? Is it, um, I don't know, it could be anything. So what are the main ingredients? Do you know what they actually are? They might be things like emulsifiers or flavors or colorings also contained in these products. So if there are any numbers or any words, names of things that you don't actually know what they are, then I would highly recommend you put it back on the shelf because that means it's made from highly processed ingredients. And you know, to be healthy, we want to reduce the number of highly processed foods that we are eating. Now, if this is a one-off occasion, you know, perhaps you just want to splurge, then that's fine. That's fine. If it's not the everyday, then you know, you want to take this one opportunity that you have. You can absolutely do that. Of course, it's up to you. It's your choice. But if you want to consider your choice a bit more, then start by reading the ingredients on the label. Um, and if you haven't put it back already because of that, then continue on to read the nutritional information. Uh, all prepackaged foods in Australia are required to have nutritional information, and this tells you how much sodium, how much uh, sugar, how much carbohydrate, how much protein is contained in the product. And it usually gives you like a serving size, you know, how many grams or micrograms per serve, plus also how many grams per hundred grams of that product. Now, I always check the amount of sugar that a product contains, um, and it'll usually say carbohydrate and then also sugar. Uh, and if it's more than about 20 grams of sugar per 100 grams, I generally know that it's actually going to be quite sweet, at least for me. You might have a higher threshold than that. Um, and also if it's like a packet of crisps or chips, then looking at the sodium content, and for me I think, you know, around the 200 per 200 um, I don't know how many grams it is, but there's usually a threshold um, per 100 grams. I'd have to get a packet and have a look, to be honest, but I don't have any in the house at the moment. So just being aware of the sodium and the sugar content in these types of food. Now, if you're a bit befuddled by all of that, then there's plenty of information on you know, government websites and health, health websites where you can learn more about how to read those labels. I'm not going to go into it right now, but just being aware, basically, firstly, of the sugar and the salt content in these foods. Now, if that hasn't deterred you yet, you're still not sure what to do, then that's completely fine. If you want to eat whatever it is you've got in your hands, then please, by all means, pay for it and eat it. It's up to you to make these choices. I'm just trying to give you a bit more information about how you can make informed and logical decisions when it comes to these situations. Now, if you're still not sure, but you want to eat something, but you're still not sure whether this sweet or packaged good is the right thing to choose, then I would suggest you choose something that's a bit more neutral or plain. Like if you're pe picking a packet of crisps or chips off off the shelf, then go for the plain sea salt flavor rather than the, you know, the honey or balsamic vinegar flavor. The ones with extra flavorings have more processed products in them. They'll generally have maybe some 
milk solids or extra salt or extra flavors or extra colors uh, and sticking with the plain version is a good um, way to combat adding extra additives into your body so that's sort of my fallback position you know if I was going to buy an ice cream then I'd buy a vanilla ice cream rather than something that's got flavors or colors in it uh, and so these are just my general rules of thumb that I like to employ when it comes to perhaps choosing something from a shop that isn't necessarily a healthy choice, but perhaps making either a healthier choice or actually just putting it back on the shelf and walking out the door. There's nothing wrong with saying to yourself, do I really need this now? Could I wait until I get home? Could I wait until I get to my friend's house? Could I wait until I my next meal? Could I have some water instead? Could I have... Uh, a, you know, a cup of tea in a take keep cup in my car ready to go so that if I'm driving from place to place, I always have some sort of liquid to rehydrate. And that's another thing to consider when we get to these points in time is that perhaps we actually just need, maybe perhaps we're just thirsty and drink, taking a drink of something could be enough to satisfy us until the next meal. Anyway, they're my thoughts for today on how to make better choices when perhaps we're craving um, or desiring something to eat um, that's at a shop or place where we're tempted by pre-packaged and processed foods. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.